Hey there everyone! Welcome to the Tamrika Lifestyle channel when I talk about loving yourself and the world around you through veganism. I haven't eaten meat for 8 years and I've been completely vegan for over 3 years, so I'm sharing my knowledge and experience with you. Today I'm going to talk to you about important vegan vitamins and minerals that I believe are some of the aspects on the way to a well-rounded healthy diet. I would like to know that I do not take any supplements without a preliminary checkup of the body to identify deficiencies. And you. Support my work specifically for English language YouTube with your likes, subscriptions and comments so you will help the channel a lot. Thank you! Vegans and omnivores should be without nutrient deficiencies. If you are completely vegan, that's great. You save animals and minimize your impact on the environment. Nothing will benefit human health and increase the chances of survival on Earth like switching to a plant-based diet. And now that you are vegan, you're likely eating more nutritious vegetables, fruits, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and legumes, which is good for your health. Of course, a well-planned vegan diet can be perfectly healthy for people throughout of life cycle. But the truth is that regardless of your diet, you should still be careful to get all the nutrients that your body needs. Vegans must be especially careful about getting enough of certain vitamins and minerals that are either absent or present in smaller amounts in plant-based foods. So it doesn't mean you need to track every morsel of food you put into your body, but it does mean that learning and applying the basics of nutrition and listening to your body will help support your overall well-being and reduce the risk of nutrition-related health problems. This is what we will talk about today. If you can't get enough of certain nutrients from food, a supplement or multivitamin may be helpful. However, deciding whether to use individual supplements or multivitamins in your life is a personal choice. Some people choose to use multivitamins that provide them with various nutrients that vegans often need, while others choose to use specific supplements for individual nutrients. I recommend discussing this with healthcare professionals. Some supplements can be harmful in high doses. I have compiled the most important minerals and vitamins for vegans to help you create a well balanced, meat free meal plan. You'll also learn what to look for in vegan vitamins to help supplement your nutrient intake. Here are my favorites for supplements you may need while on a vegan diet. 1. Vitamin B12 B12 is the most chemically complex of all vitamins. Its discovery, isolation and synthesis took decades. Hundreds of scientists from various fields of science work on it. Vitamin B12 has several important roles in the body, including the production of DNA and red blood cells, as well as SNAP function. The human body cannot produce this vitamin, so most people rely on animal products, such as meat and dairy, to get the recommended intake of vitamin B12. But not everyone understands that B12 deficiency occurs in people with any diet. Vegans who consume sufficient amounts of fortified foods or vitamin supplements are much less likely to suffer from B12 deficiencies than the average meat eater. The U.S. Institute of Medicine recommends meeting your needs primarily through fortified foods or vitamin supplements. All a vegan needs is to simply follow this rule for the benefits of himself and the animals. 2. Vitamin D Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that helps improve the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from the intestines. This vitamin also affects many other processes in the body, including immune function, mood memory, and muscle repair. Unfortunately, very few foods naturally contain vitamin D, and vitamin D fortified foods are often considered insufficient to meet daily needs. This may partially explain the worldwide response to vitamin D deficiency among vegans and omnivores. In addition to the small amount to get from your diet, vitamin D can be obtained from exposure to the sun. Most people can probably make enough vitamin D by spending 15 minutes in the middle sun when the sun is strong, as long as they don't use sunscreen and leave most of their skin exposed. The best way vegans can make sure that getting enough vitamin D is to get their vitamin D blood level test. Those unable to get enough from fortified foods or sunlight should consider taking a daily vitamin D2 or vitamin D3 supplement. 3. Iron Iron is a nutrient used to make new DNA and red blood cells and to carry oxygen in the blood. It is also necessary for energy metabolism. Too little iron can lead to anemia and symptoms such as fatigue and decreased immune function. Iron can be found in two forms. Heme iron is only available from animal products, while non-heme iron is found in plants. Vegans with a low iron intake should aim to eat more iron-rich foods such as cruciferous vegetables, beans, peas, dried food, nuts and seeds, iron fortified foods such as cereals, fortified bread and some plant-based meal can help further. 
Additionally, using cast iron pots and pans from cooking avoided your cold for these meals and combining iron rich foods with a source of vitamin C can help improve iron absorption. The best way to determine if you need supplements is to have your hemoglobin and ferritin levels checked by your doctor. But be very careful. Unnecessary intake of supplements such as iron can do more harm than good by damaging cells or blocking the absorption of other minerals. Extremely high levels can even cause convulsions, lead to organ failure or coma, and in some cases be fatal. Thus, it is better to use supplements unless it's really necessary. 4. Omega-3 Omega-3 fatty acids are essential fats that help with heart health, regular blood pressure and reduce inflammation. This is a great reason to include omega-3 fats in your diet. I already have a great video on the channel about plant sources of omega-3, so follow the link below this video. You can significantly increase your omega-3 intake by eating about a dozen walnut halves daily. A tablespoon of chia day will also give you enough omega-3. Adding a tablespoon of chia to your smoothies is probably the easiest way to incorporate this food into your diet. There are many other ways to use chia. But what about multivitamins? In my opinion, deficits should be replenished only according to the indicators of your analysis. If you follow a well-planned vegan diet, you're probably getting plenty of most of the nutrients that multivitamins provide. But some nutrients can slip through the cracks, so vegan multivitamins may be recommended in some cases. Few vegan foods are good sources of zinc and iodine, so for many vegans, these two nutrients are easy enough to make a multivitamin. But avoid buying multivitamins that contain iron unless your doctor recommends it based on a blood test. It is easy to increase iron intake beyond recommended levels with the help of supplements. And taking too much iron can be just as dangerous as taking too little. Agree? Write your opinion in the comments. Thus, following a plant-based diet is an effective way to protect yourself from certain diseases and ailments. However, if you are vegan, it's important to be mindful of your vitamin and mineral intake to ensure you are meeting your daily recommended intake of these vital nutrients. Therefore, if you cannot meet the recommended amount through food alone, you may want to consider taking vegan vitamins and supplements to increase your intake of nutrients for long-term health. By the way, I will make separate videos about other important vitamins and minerals. So, a vegan lifestyle is a future, and for many unhealthy people, it represents hope, a solution to a good deal of health, environmental and economic problems, and it includes animals, of course. We seek peace in which every living has the right to live and develop. This is why we don't eat animals. Thanks for joining me. Till next time.